Alright, so uh, now let's go back to our PLC program. And where we left off is basically we, uh, we configured our Ethernet module, we've imported our AOI at, at instructions here, and we've imported our um, user-defined type. So now the next step that we uh, would need to do is we need to create a controller tag for our signs. And probably the easiest thing here to do would be to create a controller tag that would be for each sign. And that way we can have different parameter sets um, for each sign in particular if we just want to do one message, let's say. So let's start off kind of easy here. Let's, let's go ahead and make a controller tag that's uh, sign01. And uh, we want to basically uh, map that or select a data type of our LED sign in this case. Okay, So that's going to create a new tag structure that's going to be sign01. And these, what you... Uh, these are basically going to become the sign parameters in here. So we have already a tag structure that is the parameter basis that we need to send to the sign. Okay, so um, in this case, uh, we can go ahead and populate um, these default parameters of the sign. So let's take a look at this tag, uh, this controller tag structure right now. So right over here in the descriptors, um, I'll go ahead and expand this out a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit. Um, if you hover over each one of these, and uh, I, it probably won't show in the video, that's actually one of the bugs in, in using the, the, the Studio Cam Studio here software that I'm using. But if you hover it over yourself, oh, actually there it goes, there's a pop-up right there. Um, it'll show you a little help file of each of the, of the little pop-outs that you'll see there. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to send a, let's just send a hello world message to the top sign. And uh, right now it has some residual information on there. But uh, to do that, we need to basically tell, it, tell this first parameter what the address is. If we want to send it to all the signs, we would use 00. If we want to just address sign uh, 01, we just do 01, 02. But the most important thing is that it needs to be two digits. So in this case, we'll do a 01. Um, the command parameter, there's basically four different types here. There's um, A, B, C, and D. And uh, just for uh, simplicity uh, reasons right now, we'll just do an A, which basically that just tells the sign that you want to write to the sign and then restart it. And then each of the sign messages need a variable name. And in this case, the file label is always A, so it's capital A. Um, most of these are case sensitive, so you want to basically uh, make sure that you pay attention to whatever the options are. And this is the actual message that we want to display. So we can, we can basically type in, as we would, uh, a hello world in this box and hit OK. And this is message 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, basically our AOIs can support up to four messages. Uh, right now currently just as an initial release because we wanted to see uh, what the feedback would be from the community but right now we can support up to four messages um, and in this case uh, also we could select a uh, font size uh, let's just go ahead and select zero font which is the smallest font and then the color which would, might be red in this case um, or maybe we want to change that to green let's change it to green because I want to do some uh, some trickery here okay and then uh, for the text alignment um, we have some choices here. We could do M, T, L, B, F, L, R, which stand for mid, top, bottom, or fill. Um, if you're going to do uh, basically like variables, um, an F actually, the fill is actually the best way to do that because it fills it in the middle of the screen. Uh, text att attributes would be if you wanted any kind of flashing, wide, or bold. In this case, we'll just leave those zero for off. Uh, text effects would be scrolling hold flash um, we'll just do a hold for this for this uh, test here to keep it simple and then uh, the speed uh, the default here is uh, 3 so uh, we'll put the th default in there for speed which talks about the transitions uh, the pausing is an 02 which is uh, how many seconds and that does need to be double digits so 02 in that case as you see over here and then uh, for the variables um, we could have up to four embedded variables and uh, we've set those up as U, V, W, and X. And typically variables are single letter names. And so um, I would encourage you to just leave those as default. So we could just we need to put those in there, though, if we want to use variables a little bit later on. U, V, W, and X on that. And then um, basically uh, this would be where the actual variable information would go. Now, typically you wouldn't. Uh, you could type something in here if you like. 
Um, or what we would do later is we'd actually create some ladder logic that would fill in the variable one through four uh, values. And uh, when we are dealing with variables, uh, we did give you an option to choose different fonts for those, and we'll put a zero in for that. And uh, we'll, we'll make the, the font uh, variable color, uh, different colors, so we'll leave it red. And then any attributes again, so we'll leave that for zero for no flashing. And then the last bit part down here is um, for debug only. This is the actual output. So uh, once the AOI basically uh, concatenates all of these uh, information for you, it will uh, send and create packets. And uh, basically because our uh, block can support 496 bytes, um, without changing any defaults in the string type, I know that we can increase this from 82 up to um, some certain value. I'm not, I don't even know what the top end value is. But we left the string type as 82 characters long. Um, that way there wouldn't be any changes um, that you guys would have to do. But in order to break that down, we needed six packets to do that, um, to break down 496 uh, uh, characters or bytes in this case. And then this is the expert packet, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But this is where you could put in your own strings, um, and you break it down into six uh, packets, and then we'll transmit that to the sign for you using the expert packet uh, builder, if you will. So now that we've went in and we've basically pre-filled in some inf some basic information, which mostly is here's the text, uh, what sign do I want to go to, how do I want it to behave, uh, colors and fonts and attributes. Uh, we're done with uh, the parameter set in this case, okay? So then the next step would be to go ahead and add the instruction block um, to uh, our ladder logic in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and double click and add a rung and then go to our AOI here. And we're going to use the one that's called send uh, message to sign, okay? Now this originally kind of looks like a complicated block, but all it is is a bunch of uh, mappings, if you will. So for each block, we, we have to create a, um, a tag for this. So I'm going to create a sign 01 and then call it tag, just so that we know what it is. And then the easiest way is to type it in this box, and then I like to right-click on it and say new sign tag, and then it creates uh, a tag structure for that, okay? And now next, we need to, all we need to do now is we need to, is to pre-map all of our controller tags um, into our appropriate fields here. And in this case, it was sign 01 was the tag that we made. So we'll go ahead and expand that out. And we just need to map each one of these um, all, all together down through the line. So this, this could take a little bit here, but we're going to uh, pre-map all of these uh, tags in that we need to do. So uh, kind of bear with me a second. And, and uh, through movie magic, uh, we'll probably uh, increase the speed of this. Okay, now that we're down here at the bottom, um, you'll notice that um, there are some parameters that we created. Uh, the expert packets are not going to be mapped in in this case. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and, and map in the packet sent uh, one. So packet one sent, packet, packet two sent. Okay, now I left the last two here. We do need to know which master device uh, that we are controlling uh, the signs with. And since we only have one master device which is the Ethernet module LED sign and we have two signs attached to it um, we're going to need to know the controller tag mapping and that in this case it's the LED sign input and output so so what the what the AOI is going to do is it's going to send the appropriate um, concatenated strings to those mappings there so in this case on this mapping sign input we need to select LED sign I and then map it to the data structure and then the map sign output we need to do that exactly the same for the output data structure and once we've done that you'll notice that our rung is all complete and there's no errors and so what we've done is we've created and mapped to that parameter set back here so we have a parameter set that's going to be reading the parameters from this user defined tag and basically going into the function block and then it's going to format it correctly and send it to the sign through these input and output data structures here and we can also monitor what the packet string looks like through these packet sent and this is just purely for debugging only just so that you can see what's going on okay so one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, a toggle bit um, so that I can um, if I could ever get this to work there we go 
and uh, basically create a toggle if you will and I'll just do it the same way toggle and then create new toggle and I'm gonna make this a, uh, a deint um, so that way I can have uh, a few of these maybe uh, deint zero there we go toggle zero and that way I can actually transmit to the sign so that should be all we really need to um, send the hello world um, to the sign we have one rung uh, pretty much there other than other than setting it up for the first time once you get it set up for the first time and you kinda understand how the block works um, then you got it down to one rung here to basically send messages to the sign so no messy uh, ASCII no messy uh, serial uh, interface and definitely not a message uh, block in this case